Hi guys! So today I'm doing a really highly requested video. This is my updated skincare routine. Um, I take really good care of my skin or I try to really take good care of it because, you know, keeping that youthful look is really important to most women and I'd like to hold off as long as possible before I look into, um, you know, things like Botox and all that, which are things that I'm very much open to and have talked to about with about my friends. Um, but I do want to try to hold off on doing that until my 30s and 40s, if possible. Uh, but especially in my industry, looking you know youthful and having that glow is super important. So I'm going to share with you my current products that I have been using daily and weekly. And if you guys are interested in any of these, you can pick them up. Most of them at your drugstore and a few of them online. Um, but yeah, so I'll talk about what I do in the morning for my day, like my daytime. So in the morning, I'm currently using two different products. Um, twice a week, I use one and the other one I use um, the other day. So my normal just everyday um, face wash is this clean and clear, this is a new one, it's the Morning Burst Fruit Infusions. And this is oil free and it's the pomegranate one. Now they have different scents, but this one is the pomegranate one and it looks like this. And it's really big. It's got uh, a few ounces in it. It's how many? It doesn't say. It's 266 mils. And it says it's made with pomegranate, passion fruit, and acai berry. Um, I have a lot of different fruit allergies. As I have, um, I'm allergic to birch. So this one doesn't have any fruit in it that I am allergic to, which really is great. So I can use this one. And it has not broke me out. I was a little concerned because it had fruit in it, but it didn't break me out at all. Yes, it is scented, which some people aren't a big fan of scents. This one smells really fruity and fresh, and I don't mind scented face washes. I, I prefer unscented face creams, but when it comes to face wash, I don't really mind if there's a scent. So yeah, that's my everyday kind of face wash in the morning. And it has these little kind of beads in it, um, but they don't burst or anything really that I find. But uh, I mean, they don't really do anything. They're not exfoliating beads. I think they're like bursting beads, but whatever. And then this one, oh my gosh, I love this product. <laughs> I found it just by chance and I've fallen in love with it. My skin has never felt so amazing. This is the St. Ives Elements Timeless Skin Daily Microdermabrasion. Now I get microdermabrasion a few times a year um, and this one is amazing. It feels, um, it ha has these really tiny granules in it. That's what it looks like there. It has super, super tiny granules. Usually when I use an exfoliating facial product, the granules are um, larger. These ones are teeny tiny, just like a microdermabrasion would be, and they're almost like sand. Just like if you've ever had a microdermabrasion, it's like sand, um, really fine sand. And this just, my skin has never felt so smooth um, after I use this, kind of like when I use my Clarisonic at nighttime. Um, this in the morning just wow it really polishes my skin so I use this is daily but I use it twice a week um, because I use my Clarisonic at night I don't want to over exfoliate my skin so yeah I do this uh, twice a week and I absolutely love it this is going to be a permanent part of my beauty regimen for sure I'll obviously have all the products listed down below too so that's what I use in the morning to wash my face and I'll obviously switch it up depending on the day. And then for face creams in the morning, I use, first I put on my Embryolisse Serum. This is kind of like the Genifique Serum. This is on the pricier side. This will run you between $50 and $60, and you have to get it on the website. I was lucky enough to pick mine up at iMats, um, and they always have great deals at iMats. I think I paid $50 for this. Um, it expires. Um, in a couple months, in January, March, July. It expires in July, and ooh, see how the lighting changed? Okay, there we go, lighting. Um, it's just a really light serum, and it's just kind of an anti-aging product. I put it on, and I let it dry, and then I put my face cream on, and I'm really liking it. I find that it's just, you know, helping to keep my skin firm, and it's just, it's been a great product. 
I don't know if I'll go and repurchase it or not. I might look for something similar that's a little bit more cost efficient and then wait to pick it up again at IMAX um, uh, this year. And then the, the face cream that I used, oh, and I've fallen in love with it, and it is pricey. Um, I was lucky enough to go to an event, and they had the full size of it in the goodie bag at the end of the night. And, wow, it's amazing. I, I'm pretty sure this is a Canadian line. This is for normal to dry skin. It's the Rejuvenating Anti-Aging Cream. It's a 3-in-1 day, night, and eye contour. I just use it for the day. It's scented. I mean, it's unscented. And I've used a ton of it, but a little tiny bit goes a long way with this. So it's definitely, in my opinion, worth how much it costs because it lasts so long. Um, I've been using this for almost three months, and I'll probably I have at least two months, if not more, out of it. Because, I mean, I, a little bit goes a long way with this. You can pick this up at Shoppers Drug Mart. That's where they sell this line, and it's a phenomenal cream keeps my skin really really hydrated so that's like my my morning products so at nighttime I kind of will walk you through my nighttime routine um, I remove my eye makeup first and I shook this up to show you it's um, it's by Nivea I think the both these products are new um, now this one is one of the ones that is um, contains oil you can see the beads in it I don't mind using product like that because my skin doesn't get affected by it. I do not have oily skin. I have normal skin. It really doesn't have a lot of dryness or any oiliness. And I really like the, the ones that are separated that you have to shake. Even though they leave that little bit of residue, I remove it. Um, but I really like how fast they work. And I'm really enjoying this one. This is the Nivea Express Eye Makeup Remover. So this one will um, remove um, waterproof makeup as well. So that's what that looks like. And then, so I'll do that just on my eyes, with, on a cotton pad. And then to remove my like face makeup, I have recently gotten into makeup removing pa um, makeup wipes. Originally I would just remove my eye makeup and then use my face wash to wash all my makeup off. But I actually find that like, my Clarisonic, I had to replace it, like the head too many times, like faster than usual because of the makeup. So. I want it to just kind of do it for its job of exfoliating, um, but I've been loving these. This is the Aveeno, this is new, the Aveeno Active Naturals Ultra Calming Gentle Makeup Removing Wipes. Super non-abrasive, smells amazing, does not irritate my skin, the scent does not irritate my skin. Um, it's really lightly scented. I keep obviously them upside down. Uh, so that, you know, it's always moist. Now, they're on the pricier side. They're like $13 or $14, but you co they come with a ton. Like, this is about halfway done. Um, and they're oil-free, non-comedogenic, and dermatologist tested. Uh, yeah, it comes with 25 of the cleansing wipes, and I'm, I'm really liking it. So I'll remove all my face makeup with that. And then I, I just started using this. I was always using the Olay. Um, pore cleanser, one the one that's white and green and has the swirls through it. That one's kind of been my holy grail face wash and I really like it. But this one, um, I actually really like this one better because I find with the Olay one it was just too much with the Clarisonic. I really like this one with my Clarisonic. So I'm not going to show you, everybody knows what the Clarisonic looks like so I'm not going to grab it. Um, I have I use the Mia, but this is a new product by Nivea. It's the Aqua Effect Refreshing Foaming Cleanser. So it comes out like a mousse. So it comes out like a mousse. This is my second bottle. I just literally I just picked it up today. Um, so I love it. Definitely, if I repurchase a skincare product, that means I really like it. So I'd been using that Olay one for almost two years before I decided to try this one. But it doesn't really have any scent and it's, um, yeah, it just leaves your skin feeling fantastic. And so after I do that, I tone. And I'm, was, wasn't toning my skin for a really long time, but I was finding that I was, um, 
kind of uneven and I found that before when I was toning my skin it was helping with the unevenness of my skin tone and I find that now that I'm toning my skin again it's going back to more of an even skin tone so I really think that it's important and this one is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Toner with Soy Extract it's alcohol free and it's oil free and non-cosmogenic and hypoallergenic it's fantastic super super gentle and you get a ton of product I mean I you barely use any you put it on wash your face and then you put it on a cotton pad and you just put it on all over and it just takes um, any last bit of makeup out of your pores and seals your pores shut uh, so it helps with you know if you break out from acne and things like that because it helps to seal your pores and it just leaves my skin feeling really nice so I'm really liking this toner and then for my face cream again this is one that's on the pricier side but in love with it and will definitely be repurchasing it you have to get this one online so just google it I think you can get it on Sephora um, dot com or you can get it on their website I'll have a link to their website down below um, it's hypoallergenic it's the Paracone MD nourishing moisturizer it's super thick and it has a strange scent it's not like scented but it I don't know it has a really strange it's got it's really thick um, like kind of like the consistency of a pudding or custard and it's yellow and this again, just like um, this one, lasts a t really long time. And um, I know he also makes a neck cream that I was looking at wanting to try, like a neck firming cream. So, you know, definitely check out his products. But I don't even know if it's a guy or girl, Dr. Paracone. I'm, I'm assuming it's a man, but it could be a female. I don't know. But anyways, that is my night cream. Loving it. I was. I don't use an eye cream at all um, because I find this one is so rich that it's really good, and I find that my embryo at least, you know, in the morning is enough for me. So that's what I do. And then about twice a month, I do a face mask, and the one that I've been really liking is the Glam Glow Mud. This is the Volcanic Rock French Sea Clay Green Tea Leaf and Green Tea Leaves. This one I got in the um, package that I got this in. I checked out how much this was online. Like $75. I thought that was absolutely ridiculous and I wasn't going to talk about it. And then I got one of my emails from Sephora and Sephora is carrying this now. And when I went and checked online, it's only... $22 online for them and I think that's great. So this one is an exfoliating and tingling face mask and when they mean tingling it should be like that burn you know like that oh my god my face is on fire and it's tingling and it's strange but it's also amazing it doesn't hurt but it's strange so yeah it's like this weird you know mud a little bit of it goes a long way again um, and it just it's the strangest sensation, but my skin literally glows like Jennifer Lopez after. It looks amazing. So I definitely wouldn't suggest picking this up for $75. I mean, if you have the luxury of having money to treat yourself with things, the $75 price tag might not be crazy for you, but to me, for a face mask, that's a little insane. I was lucky enough I didn't, you know, I got this in a gift bag um, and I probably will repurchase this if I can get it at Sephora for 22 because it is an absolutely amazing face mask. I looked it up on YouTube. There's like a whole channel dedicated to it um, and it really does everything that they say it does. It's fantastic. So if you want to splurge and you want to treat yourself to something really luxurious and nice, definitely this face mask is definitely fantastic. So yeah, that's the Glam glow face mask so that is my current skincare routine these are things that I've been using for months they're not something that's new to my regimen other than um, this everything else is what I've been using and loving and sticking to and it's what works for me again my skin type is normal to dry in the winter it gets really dry around my nose and stuff but other than that I really do not have problematic skin I have 
tiny pores, I do not get acne. I'm really lucky. I, it runs in my family. Um, so for me, it's just all about keeping my skin nice, keeping it line free, and uh, keeping that youthful glow as I'm, you know, inching closer to 30 rather than in my early 20s. You know what I mean? So. I'm really finding that these products are working for me. Again, I will have them listed all below for you to check out. So definitely do. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.